In this video, we will compare the differences between Flutter and Flutterflow by exploring their roles in app development. We will cover the fundamentals, the unique features, and most importantly, the cost of each option. At the end of the video, we will conclude which option you should pick in 2024. So watch to the end of the video, you will definitely make a better decision regardless if you are learning for yourself or hiring. Firstly, what is Flutter? Flutter is an open source UI software development toolkit created by Google and launched in 2017. Flutter uses Dart programming language, which also developed by Google. Dart is a general purpose programming language that can be employed for various applications, including server side development. When you are developing with Flutter, you are not just writing Dart code. You are using the Flutter framework to create a user interface and manage the application's lifecycle. Flutter extends Dart, providing a reactive framework for building UIs, complete with a rich set of pre-designed widgets and a hot reload feature that accelerates the development cycle. Now, what is Flutter Flow? Flutter Flow is a no-code platform designed to simplify the app development process. Flutter Flow was founded by two former Google's engineers who wanted to make it easier for designers, developers, and entrepreneurs to build mobile apps. It's built on top of Flutter, so it takes advantage of all its capabilities while offering a visual interface for designing and developing applications without traditional coding. Using a simple drag and drop interface, you can build a fully functioning app in as little as an hour. So coming to the fundamental differences of both approaches, Flutter follows a traditional coding approach, where you are required to write code to define the app's behavior, appearance, and functionality including network requests, integrating cloud services, integrating payment gateway, authentication, and so on. While on the other hand, Flutter Flow allows users to design and build application without the need for manual coding. Instead, users arrange pre-built components such as buttons, forms, and interactive elements to define the structure and functionality of their application directly in Flutter Flow platform. The platform then automatically translates these actions and generate the underlying code. Next, the control of the code base. The level of control over the code base represents another significant difference. Flutter allows developers to have granular control over every aspect of their application. This includes fine-tuning performance, implementing custom features, and optimizing for specific devices. Most importantly, using Flutter, you own the entire project code for free. In contrast, Flutterflow's no-code approach sacrifices some of this granular control in favor of simplicity. While it provides a user-friendly environment, there might be limitation in customization for advanced scenarios. Flutter Flows requires subscription for you to download the project's code. Lastly, the maintenance and cost for both Flutter and Flutter Flow. Flutter requires programming developer. The price of developers in the long run can fluctuate, especially considering the market demands for skilled Flutter developers. As your application matures, continuity in developer expertise becomes crucial potentially affecting costs associated with team retention and knowledge transfer. You could expect a yearly 10 to 20% increment to the cost for programming developer. While Flutterflow requires Flutterflow developer, the price of Flutterflow developer is much affordable compared to programming developer. Flutterflow platform incurs a subscription cost. This costs are streamlined and focused on a subscription-based model. The platform subscription fees becomes a predictable aspect of your budget, offering a clear understanding of ongoing expenditures. However, as your application matures, Flutterflows provides a marketplace where you can make payment to add complex pre-built feature into your application. This marketplace charges could potentially affect the overall cost. 
In conclusion, Flutter and Flutter Flow has its own advantages and disadvantages in mobile app development. However, if I were to suggest you to pick one in 2024, go for Flutter, regardless if you are learning for yourself or hiring for your project. I don't deny that Flutter Flow provides a quick solution on building a prototype for your idea, but in technology field, we have a quote saying that it's either you own the system or you are on your way building your own system. If you don't own 100% of the source code, each missing part could incur additional charges in the future. This is purely my personal opinion. Feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.